Hello and welcome to Puar Academy. Control charts and we are learning P chart. How to construct P chart? That means control chart for proportion of defectives. In the previous lecture, we have already discussed the problem definition as well as how to find out P or what is exactly P and calculation of central line that is P bar, upper control limit and lower control limit. Now in this part 2 of the solution of the same problem in this lecture we are going to learn how to construct the P chart yes uh, these are P which we have calculated or say we have learned how to calculate the P in the previous lecture and we have highlighted the lowest value and the highest value why should we highlight these two values to say draw the chart properly we should know that what is the lowest value of P and highest value of P so that we can say determine the range of our y axis on which we are plotting the P or proportion defectives proportion of defectives since the lowest value is 0 0.06 we can start our values from 0 0.05 and we can pull the y axis in this way because since we have no value less than 0 0.06 it is not necessary to write 0 0.01, 0 0.02 blah 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 even if you don't write 0 0.05 that is also okay yeah and 0 0.22 is the highest value so it should also be there on our y axis both should be there or it is it should be possible to appear both the values so the range of the y axis is determined in this way and on x axis we write just the sample number first second third etc now first of all before plotting the values of p we first need to draw the control lines or other control limits first central line that is always drawn continuous yes central line is 0.15 all lines goes parallel to x axis okay i can draw just a rough sketch of the graph uh, chart but you please try to draw the graph as decent as possible as accurate as possible this is central line 0.15 okay now lower control limit lower and upper control limits are drawn dotted with dotted line or rather broken line you can also say that lower control limit 0.1 oh sorry it is 13 not 2 because it was 1.95 uh, sorry 1 0.1295 Okay, upper control limit is 0 0.18. Upper control limit of P chart 0 0.18. That was 0 0.1779. We rounded it off. Okay, now plotting. First is 0 0.21. Plotting is very easy, but go accurately on sample number 1 against 0.21 yes second is 22 uh, above sample number 2 or rather point of intersection of sample 2 and 0 0.22 0 0.11 in the third sample it is 0 0.11 0 0.11 in the fourth sample it is 0 0.17 fourth sample and 0.17 Okay, it is here. Point, sorry, sample number 5, it is again point 0.11. Sample number 6, point 0.16. Sample number 6, value is point 0.16, that is between central line and upper control limit. Point, rather, sample number 7, it is point 0.14. Yes between central line and lower control limit 0.1 for sample number 8 it is 0.15 
exactly on the central line sample number 9.17 below the lower control, upper control limit, sorry, 10, sample number 10.15, again on the central line itself, sample number 11, value is 0.18, exactly on the upper control limit, sample number 12.20, sample number 12.20, above the upper control limit sample number 13.11 again 0.11 this is third time 0.11 is happening sample number 14.13 exactly on the lower control limit The lowest P 0 0.06 sample number 15. I think I have made a mistake. 0.13. Sorry, I cancelled just 0.16. Sorry. Yes, now 15.16. Sample number 15.16 above the central line. Sample number 16.06. 0 0.06, the lowest proportion of defectives. Sample number 17.20. Sample number 17.20, approximately here. For you people, it is very easy to draw the accurate chart rather chart accurately because you have graph paper always use a proper graph sheet graph book having the dark lines of one centimeter boxes of one centimeter as well as one millimeter should be there and full graph paper okay yeah sample number 18.10 sample number 18.10 Sample number 19.14 and sample number 20.19 that is again above the upper control limit. Okay, so in this way, see this part is similar in case of all the control charts. Mind well, in case of X bar chart, in case of rail chart or R chart, in case of P chart, in, P, in case of NP chart, in case of all the control charts, this process of drawing or constructing the control chart is similar. The part before the control chart or up to the calculations of control limits is always different in each and every chart. Yes. So, now we can observe that 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. These five sample points are above the upper control limit. And one, two, three, four, and five. These five sample points are below the lower control limit. <clears throat> so out of 20 sample points, only 10 are within the upper control limit and lower control limit. Out of which two are exactly on the control limits. So the quality control is at poorest possible level. The process is not under control. That is the conclusion. And what is the reason? Five sample points are above the upper control limits. Five sample points are below the control limits. That means in all 10 sample points are either above or above LC, uh, UCL or below the LCL. That is too poor. Yes. Only 8 points are around the central line. Because these 2 points are also exactly on the control limit. Too much sensitive case. So out of 10 samples, uh, 20 samples, 10 
or rather say 10 clearly shows that the process is not under control. So write the conclusion the process is not under control and the proof is 5 sample points are above the upper control limit and 5 sample points are below the control limits. See the number is not important. If only one sample point is either below the lower control limit or above the control limit, we conclude that the process is not under control. Because from a huge production quantity, we have selected only 20 samples. And on the basis of study of these only 20 samples, we are going to say, draw the conclusion about the whole process, say for a day or for a week or for a specific period during which these samples are drawn and this study is done. So we must be rather, we have to be stringent, as stringent as possible. Here, instead of only one, we have 10 sample points below the LCL or above the UCL. So, the quality, con there is nothing like control in case of quality in particular, in, in this case particularly. Yes, I hope these two lectures will prove to be very useful for you people to understand the basics of P chart or control chart for proportion of defectives. Yes, we are going to continue learning P chart, various aspects of P chart. Yes, but don't forget to like this lecture, this video. Don't forget to visit my channel and subscribe my channel and please don't forget to recommend my channel. Yes, I am doing all this thing voluntarily without charging anything from you people. So just as a Guru Dakshina also or as a thanksgiving also, you just subscribe and inspire other people to subscribe my channel. That's it. Thank you very much.